Good evening. Uh, Mike, if you're watching this, I just, you know, I saw the other video about you, and I thought I'd come in here and give my own little rendition, my uh, musical number about the great Michael Fowler. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be reading this for you. <clears throat> it's kind of poetry, really. Check it out. See my boy Fowler. He's a lady prowler. Dude's got fucking 15 year old bitches chilling in his basement now or later. And even if they look like alligators, then he might still persuade her. He might still play her. Then afterwards, he'll find another girl to seek out. Tell this lady how he's the shit in the teak house. Yes, he is a frat boy, and that boy likes boys too. Oh, I didn't tell you. He's a white 1980s bisexual. He's licking dicks for kicks. Plus a texting fool. Dude's got cell phone buzzing sun up to sun down. Boys and girls both texting this wannabe buff clown. So run now. If you see this blonde haired, mentally impaired, shabby dresser, just go ask Kessler. He'll tell you about the time that Fowler wanted some penis. Kess was a mess. After the scene, you should have seen it. Tears streaming down his beard, I couldn't believe it. It seems Mike and Rivera had a need to double team it. So in my final words about this mama's boy punk, stay away from his basement. It's a cluttery dump. Dude's got gin, rum, and vodka all in his trunk. And if it's after 3 p.m., that faggot's gotta be drunk, bitch. Oh, okay, okay. Ah. <laughs> yes. So, Mike, again, a quick dedication to you. Just thought I'd put it out there, throw it on the internet, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not Mike, I hope you enjoyed it too. And I advise you to write your own little song, guitar, rap, poem, whatever, about the great, wonderful, beautiful, blonde-haired Mike Fowler.